Hey everyone, welcome back into our Tuesday edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather and what a day it has been. And it continues to be a really wild evening. We're looking at uh, winds actually blowing out there. And of course, we've had our heavy snow anywhere from uh, probably around 9 to 11 inches so far is the uh, reporting. And we're looking for maybe a few more inches before it all stops. The good news is I just checked the latest radar and satellite. It looks like it is just about moving out of our area. So a couple more hours of this and then we'll just be drifting off into snow shower activity. More about that in just a little bit. Our photograph tonight taken by Jeannie Brooks. And this was taken last week when we had our other front moving in. Look how perfectly aligned those clouds are right across the horizon there. Really nice shot there, drive through to the clouds. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, be sure and send it to photos at ktbf11.com. Your numbers, today's high freezing, 32 degrees. The low last night, the exact same temperature. The record high, 68 in 1942. The record low, 12 in 1992. And your sunrise and sunset, 11 hours and 32 minutes, a loss of six minutes from yesterday. The winter storm warning is continuing through 6 a.m. tomorrow, just to be safe. Another three to six inches is possible in the higher elevations. Expect low visibility and difficult travel, uh, travel conditions. And the biggest news is schools will be closed tomorrow because of poor driving conditions. So keep that in mind. Here's what's going on on the latest radar. As you can see moving in across the Fairbanks area. Look at all the snow still moving across the area. But you'll also notice down to the south here, it's starting to break up a little bit, which means that the, uh, the worst is moving through us now as we speak. The long range shot showing that area of low pressure moving right across the bottom of the trough and then moving up into the Prince William Sound area. That's helping to pivot all that moisture across us. And it looks like that is starting to weaken. And as that does weaken, that'll be making a lot less opportunity for more moisture to come in across the area. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. What else is going on across the rest of the state? Well, there's been raining like crazy over southeast Alaska. Flooding problems there. The good news is the rains are slowly coming to an end there. Across the Anchorage Bowl, they're getting ready for more rain and mixed rain and snow. Kodiak 37, sunny uh, along the Aleutian Chain 45 at Cold Bay. And then cooler temperatures as you move up the west coast to Nome 36, 34 at Barrow and Fort Yukon cloudy in 32. Lower 48 weather looks like this. And again, a nice day over the Pacific Northwest, 71 in Seattle. Still 100 degree temperatures over the southwest. Not too bad in Denver, 78. A little, once again, a little cooler somewhat than it was yesterday in Dallas, but not by much. In Minneapolis, at 63 degrees. Very cool there. Over the eastern half of the country, lots of rain to talk about. Look at all this moisture moving across the um, <clears throat> the Northeast bringing just incredible amounts of rainfall and it looks like this for tomorrow as you can see this week uh, the rainfall could total as high as 10 inches in some areas with all that moisture coming in and more expected over the weekend with a new tropical system in the Atlantic Ocean. So the jet stream once again doing some wild things all different dips and doodles here wherever you see a bottoming out is where they're going to get the most weather and that's what's happening uh, right now as we speak. Okay, time once again for our kids' weather, and this week we're going to be visiting with the kids from Barnett Magnet School. And tonight, here's a young man with a cool story. We were cooking dinner, and we were just hanging out, and it was really windy outside, and it knocked down, a, I think, a dead limb onto the power line, and it sent out a really long power outage. And so our dinner couldn't cook inside the oven, so we had to put it in the wood oven and it took a really long time but finally it came, uh, the power outage was over and we got to eat our dinner and that's my story. Well Destin we can identify with that uh, story because of all the power outages going on today and continuing into this evening. Again thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids weather. Tomorrow night a young lady will be here to share her picture on the wind. All right, here's what's going on as far as, far as our forecast across uh, Alaska. Well, if we just go our forecast locally and see that we're looking at tonight, uh, much, again, more periods of snow right on through the evening with about uh, three to six inches additional accumulation expected. And tomorrow, cloudy skies with snow slowly tapering off about one to two inches expected there. And the five day outlook, as you can see here, temperatures once again starting to warm up a little bit for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But still a little mix of rain and snow is possible for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And again, overnight lows will once again be cooling down. That's what we're looking at uh, to be really worried about is the cold temperatures tonight and tomorrow night with all of the uh, moisture and the snow that we have. 
It's, no. it's not good out there right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And I, a lot of trees coming down today. Our scanner was going crazy today with trees falling left and right. 